Then you're going to put the first row of spots on. So they're going to be in line with these spots. So just go down, remove that piece. Then just skip a piece, remove a piece, skip a piece, and remove a piece. So you're just removing three pieces. Then just replace them with white. Next you're going to make one inverted row, so that's a normal piece, and that's an inverted piece, so turn the piece around, so the straight side is facing you. Now you're going to add a row of three light peach pieces, and two black pieces on the sides. Now on top of the two black pieces, add one more on top. Now the peach, add a row of four pieces on top. Now put an insert in here, so that there can be four pieces on top, instead of three. So this is because when I glue the bead eyes in, there's enough space in between, otherwise it would look too close. So I put an insert in here, which was just pushing a piece in like this. I'm going to do it a different way to make it neater. So just put a row on top normally. So that's three pieces, you want to have four. So just remove one, and insert this with one pocket. So I'm inserting with this pocket and leaving the other one empty. And doing the opposite with the other piece. So you could do it the other way. So the empty pieces are in here, but it leaves a gap in here. So there's a gap there because I didn't insert a piece. But the inserted piece still looks a little bit weird up close. So it's needed to use the other pocket. That way there's no gap, and you use one less piece. Now add a black piece on the sides. But this time it's going to be inverted, so turn the piece around. So the straight side is facing you, and the bumpy side is on the inside. Then you're going to add a row of five, then four, then three. So the inverted piece is there, so that when you put a piece over it, it makes a straight line. Otherwise, if this was facing the other way, it would look like this. 